Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to the Albion Yard YouTube channel. If you enjoy the presentation, please share, subscribe and like. This presentation will be focusing on the locomotive on the right hand side, which is the latest release from Hellyan. It's a model rail magazine commission and is a class 11 locomotive in double O gauge. So the model comes in a fairly typical carton, well constructed. There's a set of instructions, user manual, phone packaging and nicely tucked away in again standard ice cube type packaging is the locomotive looks like it's got a wand for um, cab lighting control if it's like the PWM and here we can see there's a package with some couplings in so that slides off nicely it's not too tight some of them are a bit of a pain in the backside wrapped as the norm really in this cellophane and we've got a nice model nothing's fallen off in transit again always a good sign underneath here this is unusual I've not seen this sort of um, material on the chassis base of the chassis before there's no oil deposits on there so it looks like the model if it's been oiled hasn't been over oiled there's nothing untoward underneath um, I'm not going to go mad with those I'm going to use tweezers to get those out there basically they're little foam inserts to go behind the um, the cab ladders so that is a nice touch the horn hooter here looks a little off square that's not a big problem but yeah nice nice livery um, colours are opaque it's quite loud easy jet shunter maybe I don't know um, yeah very very pleased with that it looks like it's capturing on first glance the correct proportions of the locomotive very very similar to the 0809 as indeed it was a precursor to them uh, quality of mouldings looks good, paint separation markings all look fine. Um, next thing I guess, put it on the track, see how it goes. So I've now got the locomotive on some backrest rollers and giving it a try out. This is what I use to uh, run a locomotive in. They're very well engineered product, the backrest rollers. Unfortunately, they're not available anymore. But if you find any online or at a show or something, then if you haven't got a set of rollers, definitely invest in something like this. So there's very little movement in terms of lateral or rock and roll if you like on this model that's at its maximum speed there's no evidence of quartering or cogging let's try it in reverse and there's definitely some gear noise with it in reverse doesn't bother me so much there's clearly no issue with it running if I slow it right down looking at that again there's no cogging there it's just a, 
and noisy gear set and I suspect once it's running that will be a lot quieter. It might need a little drop of oil in. Uh, that's something I'll look at later. But again, no cogging. Going up to maximum speed. Nice steady performance. I'm intrigued to see what it looks like inside. I get the impression that if the outside is as well engineered and looks as good as this, then uh, hopefully the inside will be pretty good too. This is a straightforward DC model, so I'm expecting to find an 18 pin DCC blanking pin in there, which allows me to run it on DC. And yeah, let's take a look inside now. Now we're going to have a quick look inside the locomotive. It's a very ingenious way of getting into it and um, I think it's worthy of consideration by other manufacturers. To get into the locomotive um, this side panel comes off and I've already undone the screw just to make it a little bit easier but you can see we've just got the two pins here that hold the uh, side panel on and you can see the two lugs there and there is a crosshead screw that sits in here. Now I've already undone that just for the speed of doing the video. All you then do is just gently move the body and you can see it is releasing. Now it's taken the uh, panel with it, this panel here. That just looks like it pops out. So there, that, apart from undoing the screw, you've seen that in real time. So what can we see with the chassis? Well, we've got a Next 18 decoder here. So that panel there. We've got a factory fitted speaker. A very heavy weight here. We can see the end of the motor. The wiring is very neat. A very tidy installation. Um, I imagine looking at this there might be room for a bigger speaker if that's the way you wanted to go with it. The cab is nice and clear so let's take a look inside the cab. So underneath the model, then we've got two pins here. These pins are the actuators for the uh, cab lighting, which you can just see at the back here, this um, little LED here. Can't see whether you can see that properly. There you go. That LED there, that is controlled by a magnet on a wand. The seats, etc are actually fitted onto the glazing. Um, so a very tidy moulding indeed. Perhaps something some of the other manufacturers should look at when they do this sort of model. Very simple to undo, very simple to get inside, so um, much to recommend that. So I'm going to be a bit mean to the uh, locomotive on this test. We have here plumber's solder, 500 grams, and in this truck here is a further 100 grams of car wheel balance weights. We're on a gradient, a 3% gradient, using underneath there the Woodland Scenics. So let's just have a look and see how it goes. So that looks good. The locomotive weighs uh, 220 grams, that's about 30 grams, I think less than a Backman 08, which is quite a weighty locomotive in itself. 
so we'll have another go and up to maximum speed so for 600 grams I reckon that's all right actually um, yeah good performance so here's a quick look underneath the uh, Hellion model Royal class 11 fairly standard configuration phosphorons pickups the coupling rods are in fact one piece coupling rods I'm not the biggest fan of that I'd prefer them to be knuckle jointed but it doesn't seem to be a problem with them at the moment the gearbox is a tower gearbox driving onto the rear axle and all fairly tidy and simple to get to just three screws to hold the uh, keeper plate in place um, not very much oil in there in terms of a good thing rather than it leaking all over the place there's certainly plenty in there for normal operation so that's a quick look at the underneath
It'll come as no surprise that I actually really like this model um, and I think it reflects well on both Hellyan and Model Rail Magazine for commissioning it. Not so long ago the thought of having a Class 11 with correct details rather than a re-liveried 08 would have been unheard of. Price wise in 2024, February as I'm filming this, this retails at close to £170 which sounds quite a lot of money. But when we look at the 20 year old Backman 08, which isn't a bad model by any stretch of the imagination, that is the best part of £150 now. The contemporary Hornby 08, that's £180. So for a good quality model, DCC ready, accurate and well presented like this is, I think it's fair value for money and will sit well in the market. Were Hellyan to produce an 08? because there's commonality of components here, I wouldn't have any hesitation on the basis of this model in buying one straight away. And I think that's, that's really a good recommendation, that's a good place to be. So if you've enjoyed the presentation, please share, subscribe and like, and thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.